Hello and welcome to another edition of Feel This Pain. I'm Ken McKim and tonight we're going to be talking a little bit about something known as complex migraine or migraine with aura. Now 30% of migraine sufferers who report having had migraines experience migraine with aura. Aura symptoms come on fairly quickly. We're talking within about five minutes uh, and they're usually gone within about an hour, after which time you just get to deal with the wonderful pain of a migraine. In this case, then, aura is referring to uh, some temporary neurological symptoms that dissipate after a short time and does not refer to the so-called energy that some people report being able to see, you know, around a person's body. It's not the kind of aura we're looking for in this case. So aura symptoms are broken down usually into two categories. Those are visual symptoms and sensory aura symptoms. When we're talking about visual symptoms, we're talking about things like sparks, a uh, prism-like effect to your vision, like someone put a kaleidoscope over your eyes. Zigzag lines are not unheard of as well. Visual aura is among the most common kind of typical aura symptoms. Aura, we're talking about 90% or so report having visual aura as opposed to sensory aura. So when we're talking about sensory aura, we're talking about symptoms like a tingling that involves uh, some or all of the face or one side of the body, maybe sometimes uh, you know the hands and even the feet. You can also experience something called aphasia, where you're having problems speaking correctly. You can't think of the right words to express your ideas to people. It's scary, and it can so effectively mimic a stroke that it can be hard to tell the difference between complex migraine and stroke uh, with just a cursory uh, examination, even by trained physicians. Again, common symptoms for migraine uh, are pain being either uh, localized in just one part of your head or maybe both sides of your head. There's a pulsating quality to that pain. The pain itself can be moderate to severe in intensity and uh, that can wax and wane uh, throughout various intensity levels for the life of the migraine. Migraine headaches are usually worsened by any kind of normal physical activity. A lot of people report having symptoms of nausea with their migraine pain, and uh, a lot of people report sensitivity to light and noise while they're experiencing their migraine episode. So the treatment options for migraine with aura are largely the same as you would find for migraine without aura. There's another class of medications called tryptans, which are sometimes used to treat uh, migraines with aura. Uh, so what are tryptans? Well, tryptans essentially increase the serotonin levels in your brain, uh, reducing inflammation and constricting blood vessels. And this does have a beneficial effect for many migraine sufferers. Uh, some name brands of, uh, of these tryptans that you may have heard of are Relpax and Imitrex. Now, so this part is pretty interesting. There's a device called Cephaly that the FDA has approved for treatment of migraines. It's preventative uh, rather than reactive. And if you're familiar with a, a TENS unit, that's T-E-N-S, uh, basically it's a getup where you've got four electrodes and you place the sticky electrode pads uh, on the muscle group that hurts and you can adjust the voltage intensity, right? Uh, and it helps relieve pain for a lot of people. So they've applied this technique to treating migraine. You can use it every day, but not more than one time a day. And again, this is to prevent them from happening in the first place. So you just kind of wear it as a headband, you put the electrode, you know, right around here, and you just wear it for 20 minutes and it turns off automatically. So uh, for people who can't tolerate medications because of the side effects, this could be a, a real breakthrough for them. So if you know someone who suffers from complex migraine with aura, 
or a migraine without aura, or hemiplegic migraine, or, you know, any chronic illness for that matter, what should you do? Well, try learning a little bit about whatever their condition is. To that end, I've put some reference links in the description box down below for you to use and, you know, study up. But again, above all, the important thing is to always show compassion, empathy and compassion. It's very important. We're human beings. We need to treat each other well. And that's it for this edition. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, if you have questions, go ahead and send them to me, Ken, at don'tpunishpain.com. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It does help my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click on that subscribe button as well. And then once you have done that, there's going to be a little bell icon that you can click on so that you let YouTube know that when I post new things, you would like to be notified. That way you don't miss anything. That's it. I'll let you go for now, but I will see you again. And until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care.